here's your wrestling news for February 5th, 2022. And your headlines for this afternoon include WWE planning even more Saudi Arabia shows very soon, former NXT champion may have already signed a deal with AEW, current champion says they turned down a 100-page contract from WWE to work for AEW, three WWE superstars expected to return from hiatus in time for WrestleMania, who's returning very soon. Brock Lesnar breaks yet another long-standing WWE record with latest victory. Becky Lynch opens up about that punch from Nia Jax, what happened after the man was busted open. Huge match confirmed for upcoming AEW pay-per-view, massive announcement to take place next week, and more. We are kicking off with WWE, who for the past few years has had an incredibly valuable, albeit controversial, partnership with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. One night in Saudi Arabia earns WWE more than months of touring, and has been a major contributor into the company's recent record-breaking earnings. At this week's 2021 year-end financial report, WWE President Nick Khan discussed Saudi Arabia and teased having more shows a year in the Middle East, asking, why just limit ourselves to just two? Although WWE's decade-long deal with the Saudi Sports Authority began in 2018, the company had to miss over a year of events overseas, with these skipped events now tacked on to the end of their current deal. WWE's next show in Saudi Arabia will be this month's Elimination Chamber, and we'll see Brock Lesnar's first foray into the chamber, as well as the return of Bill Goldberg, but it may just be a matter of time before WWE makes even more trips to Saudi Arabia. Last November, WWE released Keith Lee from his contract after an incredible run in NXT and an underwhelming tenure on Raw. This week, Lee's non-compete clause with the company expired, and the Limitless One could soon be All Elite. In the Wrestling Observer newsletter, it's reported that Lee is a name that AEW are actively seeking, with some believing that the two parties may have already signed a deal. AEW isn't the only option as Lee has teased a return to the independent scene, liking a tweet from Beyond Championship Wrestling to come and be their top champion. Lee does have a history with BCW and worked in the Melrose, Massachusetts promotion from 2016 to 2018, where he faced the likes of Riddle, Joey Janela, Brian Cage, and others before coming to WWE. A former NXT and North American champion, Lee has a litany of great matches already to his name, and there's no shortage of employers willing to pay for the services of the former Bearcat of WWE. AEW is already host to some talented individuals, including reigning TBS champion Jade Cargill. Making her debut with the company in November 2020, Cargill has quickly risen up the ranks of the company's women's division and turned down a chance to work with WWE in order to prove herself. Speaking on Talk is Jericho, the inaugural TBS champion said WWE wanted to sign her after a tryout she had with them, but she didn't appreciate the company grilling her about having a child. Cargill went on to say that she turned down WWE's offer, which was sent to her in a 100-page contract, but called it the best decision she's ever made for her family and for herself. Jade's choice to say no definitely paid off for her and allowed someone else to get a spot in WWE, but we're wondering just how different both companies would be today if she had signed that 100-page deal. Back to WWE, as this time last year, Lacey Evans was feuding with Charlotte Flair, but that angle was dropped on the February 15th Raw, where Evans announced she was pregnant. The sassy Southern Belle has been absent from WWE TV ever since then, and after celebrating the birth of her second child back in October, got back into ring shape within a matter of weeks. According to Dave Meltzer, Evans has been working especially hard to return as of late, with her return to TV set to happen soon, possibly ahead of WrestleMania 38. Before her pregnancy, there had been plans for Evans to become Raw Women's Champion, and we'll have to see if this is still the plan for her when she returns to TV very soon. Evans is expected back on TV very soon, but she's not the only female superstar who could be able to make a return. In The Observer, Meltzer writes that both Bayley and Asuka are expected back in the coming months, with the plan being for them to both be on TV in time for WrestleMania 38. Bayley has been out since early July last year as she injured her knee during a training session in the build to the return of live fans. At the time, it was reported that she'd need nine months off and underwent knee reconstruction surgery. 
Mere days after Bailey's injury, Asuka competed in what'd be her last match to date as one of the participants in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, and details of her injury remain sketchy. WWE reportedly had plans for Asuka to be in this year's Women's Royal Rumble, but later decided she wasn't ready for the match, but it appears things have changed. With WrestleMania now 56 days away, we'll have to see if these two decorated superstars do return in time, and if so, what WWE has planned for them on TV. At the Royal Rumble, Brock Lesnar had a mixed night to say the least, losing the WWE Championship and services of Paul Heyman, but winning the Men's Royal Rumble match later in the night. Winning the match from the number 30 position, we previously covered that Lesnar broke the record for the shortest time to win a Rumble match, but now he has another accolade to his name. As Dave Meltzer noted in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Lesnar now holds the records for most time between Rumble victories. It took 19 years after Lesnar's Rumble win in 2003 for him to emerge victorious again, breaking the previous 14-year record held by Triple H. Now Lesnar will challenge Universal Champion Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 38 and plans to enter as WWE Champion, and time will tell if Lesnar achieves this goal en route to his Texas-sized showdown with the Tribal Chief. Now on the November 19, 2018 Raw, then SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch appeared on the red brand as part of the Raw vs SmackDown dynamic going into Survivor Series on a night that would change her career. Brawling with the Raw roster, Lynch would receive a stiff shot to the face from Nia Jax, which would break her nose and give her a concussion, forcing WWE to change their pay-per-view plans. Speaking now on the Broken Skull sessions, Lynch explained that all it took was one punch to break her nose and that Jax could not have felt worse after the incident. She sent me flowers, but I should have sent her flowers. Yeah, yeah, it was after that there was an iconic image to go with the match. It catapulted me to a different stratosphere. Lynch is correct, as the image of her standing tall with blood smeared across her face made her the unbeatable badass and would cement her transformation into the man. Now Lynch is one of WWE's top stars, with multiple reigns as champion to her name, and she has Jax's fist to thank for pushing her in the right direction. And we're ending today with AEW, who are bringing back the Face of the Revolution ladder match. During last night's Rampage, it was confirmed that the multi-man ladder match will take place at the upcoming Revolution pay-per-view, with the first qualifying match taking place on next week's edition of Dynamite. The match will see a yet-to-be-confirmed number of participants compete to grab a brass ring, a dig at WWE, and the proverbial brass ring several ex-superstars have spoken about since leaving the company. Next week's Dynamite will also feature an AEW World title match where Hangman Adam Page will put his gold on the line against Lance Archer in a Texas death match. Tony Khan has also promised to make a huge announcement on next Wednesday's show, but we'll just have to wait and see what Khan has to say on the road to Revolution 2022. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.